Now at five, turning the tables. Action News obtained dramatic new video of the moment a customer fought back when a would-be robber confronted him in a Philadelphia smoke shop. Tuesday night, Rick Williams is off. Brian Taff is joining us. The big story on Action News is the terrifying encounter that played out in the Olney neighborhood of the city. Yeah, it only took the customer a matter of seconds to realize what was happening and reach for the robber's gun. Action News reporter Katie Castro live at police headquarters tonight with the video you'll only see right here on Action Action News, Katie. Brian and Shari residents we spoke with are really upset by all of this. As you'll see in the video, these were some frightening moments. Exclusive surveillance video obtained by Action News shows the moments the tables were turned on an alleged robber. Philadelphia police say the suspect, believed to be in his early 20s, came into this smoke shop just after 1 a.m. on the 5300 block of 5th Street in Olney. You can see the would-be robber approach a 45-year-old man standing by the ATM. In a split second, the man managed to get the gun away from the suspect and shot him multiple times. I heard two pops and I woke up out of my sleep and I heard somebody scream. The attempted robbery victim hit the suspect in the face with the gun. At the same time, a shot went off and shattered the glass door. The bullet also hit the victim's friend who was standing outside. Then you see the alleged robber bolt out the glass door. I didn't stop because it was taped all off and I just kept going on. I can't believe it. I was like, you know, good thing I got off the time I got off. Police caught up with the suspect about two and a half blocks away on the 400 block of West Olney Avenue inside this stolen Toyota. Police say he bled to death from multiple gunshot wounds. Police are still searching for the person who drove the robbery suspect in the Toyota before abandoning the car with the man still inside bleeding. Residents in the neighborhood say they are fed up with the gun violence. Violence in the city is just, you know, it's out of control right now. Yeah, pretty scary. Yeah. Or person like me, an old man, you know. Now, the man shot in the shoulder is expected to survive. As for the shooter, police say he is cooperating, and it's still under review if he'll face any charges at this time. Police say they also believe no one in this store had anything to do with this at this point. Reporting live at police headquarters, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Shari? Katie, I'll take it. Thank you.